One of the most commonly asked questions for me is uh, how do I build bass lines? You know, how do I go through a progression or the blues or rhythm changes or anything, any kind of jazz related um, uh, set of chords? So, well, I think the best, uh, one, of, one of the uh, best ways possible to do that and actually um, simpler ways to do that is, is just to concentrate on playing your, your chord tones, which are your roots, your thirds, and your fifth and your seventh. And most of the times you don't even have to go as far as, as playing your seventh, which is a great uh, solution, but when you just start out with things, when you start out with your bass lines, you can leave the seventh out of things for a little while, and then we'll, you can incorporate them as well. Mm -hmm. But um, playing your roots, your thirds and fifth, uh, will create really solid, harmonically really solid and strong uh, lines for you, and that will really support the band, and everybody else can play their extensions, and up, upper ext extensions, and... Um, and different things, different scales um, um, on top of those already laid out real nice essential bass notes, you know, and that the uh, bass, um, the essential notes of the chords. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to play a little F blues here. The F, F uh, the blues, uh, jazz blues is a 12 bar progression, um, very commonly known in, uh, in jazz, and the F is a very common key to, to play this, uh, this blues progression in. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play chor uh, chorus by chorus, and in the first chorus, I'm just gonna use my roots and my thirds, nothing but my roots and thirds. And so let's see what happens. So here it is, in F. One, two, three, four. So there it was, it's only, I've only used my roots in thirds, that's all it was. And I thought it was quite a nice little progression, or quite a nice little bass line. So um, let's uh, get on to the um, roots in fifth this time. So let's, let's see what happens there and uh, let's see what kind of sounds we can get out of that. Alright, so one, two, three, four. So that was your roots and fifth. Uh, quite nice actually, because the, root, uh, the, um, the roots and fifth will create the uh, interval of a fifth or, or the interval of a fourth. And those being quite wide intervals, you, you can get some real nice wide leaves. To get you through your range, uh, the range of your instrument. All right, so this time I'm gonna combine your roots, your thirds and your fifth all together into one line. All right, so here it goes. One, two, three, four. So now that I used my roots, my third, and my fifth, I've got quite a bit of variation, and I could play a lot of triads. You know, they are based on your roots and thirds and fifth, anyways. So I could play my F triad, my B flat triad, my G minor triad, C set of C triad, and so on. And by using all those triads, I could get to some really nice uh, combinations of, of intervals and the way uh, the way to spread out or spell out uh, these different chords. So I'm going to play the whole thing one more time, all together, from, from the first uh, uh, chorus throughout the third one, and um, I'm just, uh, just to see what it sounds like, you know, uh, building up from your roots thirds, root to fifth, and your roots and thirds and fifth. So here it goes. One, two, three, four.
So here it is. Uh, thanks a lot, for you guys, for watching this, and uh, I hope that you will find this insightful and, and, and helpful. And um, if you struggle with these bass lines, just remember that use a lot of your root, your roots, your thirds, your fifth, and write some stuff out. Write your lines out and then play them. With that, you're learning to write music, to read music, and you're learning your harmony and you're learning your fingerboard in the same time. So you're doing a lot of a lot of good to your playing and to yourself as a musician. So thanks a lot, you guys. Hope you well and keep playing and practicing.